Hi, I'm Jake here with Press Start. We've got Ken from Sucker Punch here. He's here to take a bit of time out of his day to talk about the Infamous Second Son and Infamous series as a whole. Um, Infamous Second Son releases in the first quarter of 2014, which is obviously next year. Would you like to open up a little bit more about that, please, Ken? I could. I just want to say thank you for having us, uh, Jake. And um, yeah, 2014 is when uh, it's coming out. And it's a brand new hero, brand new story, brand new place to playground, you know, with so many things that's happened. Yeah, it's got that little infamous in its title because it's an infamous game at its core, but, you know, expect to play a brand new game. Those who uh, played Infamous 1 and 2 don't need to be able to play that ga those games in order to play this one. You can jump right into this uh, superhuman story. Which is good with the availability, but for those who have played Infamous 1 and 2, particularly myself, who is a massive fan of the series, um, Thank you. Will, will you expect to see a lot of uh, connections between the Polygraph series games, so to speak? The well, yeah. it's funny you mention that because, uh, you know, after we were making Infamous 1 and Infamous 2, we are okay, what's the next game, right? We were full on board, ready to do another Cole cool game, right? So uh, we were in probably a conference room somewhere and one of the guys said, well, why don't we look at the trophy deck? You know, we're at the game about choice. Why don't we make the fans decide what we're going to do? So I did. So we looked at the trophy dad and it was overwhelmingly that they played the good, the good, side, side, the good yeah. side, right? So we went to the good ending and we uh, made a game that, well, that, there's no coal to go a good ending, right? So uh, there, there you go. So brand new hero is born. Delson Row is um, actually taking place in Seattle this time around. Uh, the previous two games, New Marine Empire City, you've uh, fictionalised those worlds and taken a real world approach to our Seattle theme from the Second Sun. Uh, what kind of landmarks can we expect to see apart from the Space Needle? You bet. Um, you know, we, you're right. With New Marine and uh, Empire City, we took that little you know, New York City and New yeah. Orleans and made it our own, right? Well, you know what? We were making a city and instead of calling Seattle, you know, Seaport or something yeah. like that, you know, it's this is our hometown. If we can't get our hometown right, yeah. you know, what, what place great to start? You know, how many how many developers out there actually have a chance to make their hometown in a video game that they're getting to make, right? So we wanted to go, we, you know, most of us live in the town, and so a lot of us were able to take pictures, and you know, we know the atmosphere and what this is. So if you saw any of my videos today, you saw us in Post Alley, one of those alleyways where I was showing the reflections and the lighting and yeah. stuff. That's an actual alley, one for one, in Seattle. So you got the Space Needle, you got the monorail, you got the Pack Sci Center, you got Pink Elephant Car Wash, you got the Lincoln Tow Truck. These are all cultural, iconic businesses local to Seattle. So what you're not seeing is Starbucks, McDonald's. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. we're building the Seattle that's our Seattle, the way we want to build it. Now, am I going to sit here and tell you that you're going to be able to go on Google Maps and take a tour of the city through our game? No, no. We're going to make a fun game. But we did get complete components of Seattle right. Um, and you certainly have nailed it from the gameplay trailers and the trailers just to have released, it does look amazing, you know, particularly with the capabilities of the next generation console, PS4, which is exclusive for. Um, Delson is a character, he's a conduit, of course, but his special power is he has the ability to absorb other conduits' powers. You've um, released so far smoke and a little bit of neon. Uh, without giving obviously too much away, I'm sure you don't want to give the whole plot line away. Roughly, in terms of figures, we expect to see maybe half a dozen more powers, a dozen, 20. Well, I, I'm not going to sit here today and tell you the exact number of powers you're going to see, but you're going to see more than what you've seen. But what's really key about the power sets that you really want to know is that you've seen smoke, you see how well it works with combat, you've seen the dashing in and out and all the yep. trades work. So remember, in infamous games, you got the traversing and parkouring around the environment, which is really important. The displays of the powers and the, all that stuff is really important as well. But with these power sets in Second Sun, the smoke powers versus the neon powers and traversing are much different, right? So the experience as far as traversing around the environments through different power sets is much different experience. Combat with the different power sets, much different experience. Right? And one of the key things, mechanics that you should understand about our game is how you get those powers. So when you drain a smoke or fire off a car or something like that, your end result is you're going to have the smoke power. Now if you drain a neon power, or neon side, you're going to have the neon power, right? Strategically, of course, in the missions, you're going to need probably one or the other more so than the other power because they have their strengths and weaknesses yeah. amongst each other. That's how we designed the game. That's it's great when you can have multiple powers because when you only have lightning, what you're doing is you're just basically creating new variations yeah. of lightning. Well, when you got different power sets, creative creative okay. unleashes, right? That's amazing. It's, um, infamous Second Son, certainly a game I cannot wait for. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add to the interview? No, 
I just want to make sure your fans understand that it's coming out in uh, the beginning of 2014. It is exclusive PS4, but the key takeaway from today is when you play this game, we want to make sure you have fun. Right? That's what infamous games are all about. Sure, we're gonna have the story in there and all the tech you're gonna see in there, the explosions, the breakables, and what have you, but we just want to guarantee you have fun. So if we can accomplish that, we did our jobs. Well, Infamous 1 and 2 were certainly some pretty fun games involving our two playthroughs to get the whole benefit of them both. They are good versus evil side, so to speak. So, um, A lot of replayability in our game. That's correct. Um, can't wait to see what Second Sun brings us. So, uh, Ken, thank you for your time on behalf of Press Start Australia. Thank you for coming out here. No problem.